Hi guys, it's Brittany. So, today is going to be a dream time video. And today I'll be sharing a dream with you that I've had recently. And, um, so, and I just want to point out real quick that I'm wearing a red tank top and the light over there. I know it looks orange, but it's not orange, it's actually red. So, yeah, I thought that was kind of funny, the red tank top, red light on the oil diffuser. That's kind of funny. Um, oh yeah, and I just want to mention real quick that in case if there are some videos where you don't see the intro, is only because sometimes the internet will act weird, and when it does, it, it'll act you know, slow where if I go to the intro of the video, it just won't able to really play the, the full intro for me to record it. So in case you don't see th the intro in some of the videos, it's only because of the internet acting slow and because I wouldn't be able to have time to really wait because it could, um, you know, because it's slow. So, and if I just happen to do the video without the intro, then, you know, that's fine because of, uh, because how slow the internet can be at times. So that's why. And just to let you know on that. So, and I was going to do this because I already had a dream. Because there was a dream that I was going to share, but then when I had this one, I thought, well... I might as well save the other one for another time. And here's why, because I was going to share um, a Batman Forever dream, because believe it or not, I did have another Batman Forever dream, and I was going to share that. But then this other dream I had recently, it was not too long ago, and I thought, well, I think I'm going to share this one first, and then share the Batman Forever dream later. So that will be later this month. Um, so this dream I had recently, not too long ago, I think it was, what was, it? I think it was somewhere near the end of April. I think it was, what, the 27th around there? Uh, it had to be around there. But I remember, um, okay, so <laughs> believe it or not, and this happened but this was quite short though so this video is going to be kind of short itself so i had this dream where um somehow i remember i don't know <laughs> and here's the weird part because somehow before i had this dream i woke up i had i had woken up somewhere in the morning uh, i'm not sure what time it was it could have been maybe I, I really don't know. I'm not sure what time it was when I woke up, but then I went back to sleep. And when I did went back to sleep, somehow I thought I heard what sounded like an ice cream truck, you know, when you hear that song. So I somehow thought I heard it, but it didn't sound close, like close to the house, you know, outside. But it sounded somewhat far, you know, from a distant outside, so I thought I heard very faintly, <laughs> and so when I heard it and went back to sleep, somehow I was able to go into a deep sleep quite fast, and and then I had this dream, I had this dream that I was in the movie um, Wonka with uh, uh, Timothy um, Chamele as, as Wonka, and so... It didn't show of any specific part of the movie, but I think this had been sometime after the ending of the movie where he was gonna, I think, create his own chocolate factory. But, um, it could have been sometime after that, I'm not sure. It could have been, but it showed that there was this part where I was in the movie and, and of course I was pretty much I was still myself so I'm like playing Brittany but like I'm still me but it's almost like I'm playing myself as a as my own character in a way 
if that makes sense. And I remember somehow I was living, yeah, I remember I was living by myself in this uh, apartment, and all of a sudden I heard, it sounded like I heard the, the ice cream truck song. And as soon as I heard that, it, I mean, it didn't sound exactly like that, but it sounded similar, but it had a, it was a nice tune though, and so I remember when I had heard this in the dream, it was somewhere, I don't know, maybe midnight, maybe one or two in the morning around there. It could be around there, between 12 to 2 a.m., I think, and so, um, I remember as I heard it, I got up, I was still, I was wearing my pajamas, I put my robe on and my slippers, and I thought, who, who would be going around in their ice cream truck around this time? And so, I remember as I stepped outside, it was not an ice cream truck. It was actually a chocolate candy truck. There was Wonka's uh, candy uh, cart or truck. Well, not really truck, but you know, like the... It's kind of like similar to an ice cream truck, but it's not. It's more like a candy uh, car in a way where it, it doesn't serve ice cream, but it serves candy. And so as I walked out, I opened this little gate where it's right in front of the apartment and I had closed it and so I saw Wonka there, you know, and so, you know, Willy Wonka, and so as soon as I saw him, he said something. He said, um, I present to you, um, Willy Wonka's, uh, chocolate candy car or something like that but he said in such a way where he made it such a interesting introduction of presentation to it and so it sounded you know quite intriguing and so I remember um because yeah I remember he saw me and because you know I'm in my rope and everything and he was asking me like like you miss like do you like candy I'm like yeah I love candy and he was like great so what kind of candy do you like and so I was telling him what kind of candy I liked and he thought that I had good taste in candy and I and I thought wow thank you like no one has told me that before but okay um I'll take that and and so I remember as I walked further to take a good look at the kind of candy um, he was serving and handing out to his customers. I think I was a new customer and so I even told him, do you know what the one candy I don't like? And he's like, what's that? You know, and he said in such a way and so I got close to him because I was right here like right behind him so right next to him I said I don't like sour candy and so when I said that to him he was like you know <laughs> that's what he did <laughs> he had that look like oh sour who would like sour you know it's almost like he reacted that way and then I told him but I love candy that is sweet I love sweet candy and so as I said that to him he's like he was telling me he has plenty of that he has plenty of different kinds of sweet candy with with you know different flavors and and you know textures and so I remember I think I was you know I tasted one and yeah it was chocolate it was like this very it was milk chocolate but it was very creamy, it was smooth, and it just melts like right in your mouth. So in a way, it kind of reminded me of the, if I could find one, uh, hang on a sec. 
So, in a way, <clears throat> it actually reminded me of this. Of the Lindt Lindor. Uh, the chocolate balls. I think, mean, of course, they're really good. Um, so this one I did got last year um, as a Christmas gift. Um, it's the peppermint uh, cookie. And yeah, this is so good and I love like chocolate and peppermint together. It's just amazing. Let's see if it still smells like it. A little bit. A little bit, but not as much. And I think the reason <laughs> why... I think it's because it had been, you know, months now and since there are no chocolate candy. But it, the chocolate I tasted in a dream reminded me of the Lindt Lindor uh, chocolate balls, which are so good. And of course, there are so many flavors, too. There's milk chocolate, dark chocolate, there's, um... Uh, there's one they have now which is the birthday cake. I haven't tried that yet, but I would love to try that because I love uh, birthday cake flavors, you know, especially when it comes to like uh, to a candy. So yeah, I would love to try that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so and I, I love these specific uh, candies as well. I also love the, uh, what's it called? The, it's a fair Rocher where it's, it's in the gold wrapper and it has a little, uh, diced, um, hazelnut sprinkled on top, but there's also a hazelnut inside. Oh, those are so good. I, I love those. So yeah, now I'm making myself hungry for those because it sounds so tempting. It really does. And so, um, and yeah, okay, so on with the dream. So I remember tastiness just seemed similar to the Lindor chocolates, but in a way it was also different. It was quite unique and it was very smooth and creamy in its own way. And <laughs> Oh gosh, it, it was so good, and and so yeah, I remember him asking me like, like how do you like it? And I'm like, oh, gosh, I love it, and and so yeah, it it was just, you know, of course I had my mouth full, but you know I had to try to say something, while I'm having this smooth, creamy, melty, chocolate <laughs> candy in my mouth. But yeah, after that, um, yeah, after that, he said that if I ever wanted to try other uh, candies he has, the, to feel free, and that he will stop by when he can. And and so I remember thinking, but wait, why did he stop by at this time when everyone's sleeping? And uh, I don't know why. Maybe it could be. Maybe he just wanted people to try some of his candy no matter what time it was, even if people were sleeping. <laughs> so I thought that was um, kind of funny. And, um, and so I remember after that, yeah, I remember he said, well, I'll see you next time, miss, and have a good night. I'm like, you too. And after that, he just took off with his, uh, Wonka's chocolate candy cart, even though it was a, even though it looked like a, a car, but served candy, you know, so that was quite interesting. So he took off and I remember just, and here's a weird thing, because just when the dream was ending and when I woke up from the dream, I thought I was hearing the ice cream truck sound again but somehow it sounded a little bit more closer so I remember thinking and the weird part is is that I remember thinking wait a minute why would I be hearing an ice cream truck song because there's no ice cream trucks that go around in this uh, neighborhood 
I'm pretty sure there are some that do go around in some neighborhoods, and I think there are some that don't. But, um, cause yeah, I do live in a community, so I don't think an ice cream truck would go around in this neighborhood of this uh, community um, neighborhood, you know, to go around because I never once heard an ice cream truck going by, especially with the song that it plays. So if it had gone by here before, I would have known, you know, by, you know, m moving out here since last year. And I never heard anything, but somehow I heard it that day before I went to sleep and when I had this dream and just when I woke up after this dream was over and I woke up hearing it somehow, I'm like, am I really hearing an ice cream truck or am I hearing maybe something that is spiritual where it sounds like the ice cream truck song, knowing that there's never been an ice cream truck that has ever gone through this community of this neighborhood before. So I'm like, that's really strange. You know, and I can't explain that at all. I can't. But yeah, I think if you see it a little bit more now, it is in fact a red light. So <laughs> so anyway, um, that is all for the dream. And yeah, so that's the dream I wanted to share with you. And yes, next time I will share with you the dream I had on Batman Forever because that itself is also quite interesting. But it was also a little scary too, just just a bit. But you'll know more about it once I do a video on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this dream. And yes, um, for those who probably love the Lindor chocolates, uh, let me know if you do. I love them in any flavor, especially when it comes to the um, when it's getting close to the holidays and it has the seasonal flavors like peppermint um, and all these other ones. Because the ones they had last year were, they had a, let's see, I think it was sugar cookie. I never tried that, but I would love to try that. And I think that's one of a uh, gingerbread, I think, or something like that. I think. But I feel like I gotta try more of the seasonal ones because I love those. So yes, um, for those who don't know, uh, yes, um, when it comes to that time of the year, I love that time of the year. And for those who don't, that's okay. But I personally do, is I look forward to it every year and of course I look forward to having the peppermint mocha creamer in my coffee, even the um, peppermint chocolate candy, which I find which is so irresistible and just amazing and creamy and delicious and I love it. I do, I really do. So anyway, that is it for this dream and that is all for the uh, chocolate candy that I'll mention here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Well, I don't just end it right there, but anyway, so for more movie content, reactions, and dreams, subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified when I upload. And if you like this dream, um, give it a like and yeah, comment down below on what you thought of this dream and what kind of chocolate candy you like or even if you don't like chocolate but there's any type of candy that you like um comment down below that's all for today and i'll see you at the movies